Hi Sequels friends! Today is one of my favorite videos to make and that is a recap video. If you don't know, recap videos are where I update you on a previous unboxing that I've done on my channel and I like to update you once I've sold through at least 50%. Today's recap is going to be on a Goodwill Blue Box mixed denim box that I purchased this past December. So, want to see whether I got anywhere close to my gross projections and whether I actually made any money on this box? Just keep on watching. Hi Sequels friends, welcome back to my channel. It is so wonderful to have you here and thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new, my name is Heather and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Etsy and I like to use this YouTube channel to doc channel? Channel? <laughs> to document my journey. If you're new here, I have trouble speaking a lot. <laughs> so on this channel, you'll find all sorts of thrift hauls, unboxings, reselling content, as well as some thrift to travel. Today, as I said in the intro, we are doing one of my favorite segments, and that is where I provide a recap update on a previous unboxing that I've done on this channel. Today's unboxing I did back in December, and it is a Goodwill mix denim box. Of course, as always, I will go ahead and link the original video above as well as below. If you didn't get to see that video, you're welcome to pop on over there and check it out and then pop on back here for the results. Goodwill Blue Box Mixed Jeans Mystery Boxes. Typically, you receive 10 to 12 pairs of jeans. I received 10 and nine of them were saleable. Um, the box cost just $19 plus $5 for me shipping and handling, so my total buy-in price was $24.99. That makes the cost of goods $2.78 each. Now, I was shook when I looked up this information because I actually sold through more than 50% of this box by the end of January. Yes, I bought it at the beginning of December and had already sold through more than half of it by the end of January in one month. Not too shabby at all. The rest was all pretty much gone by April and I have one item left. Lord knows why I have it. They are Rockin' Republic jeans and this box came, I believe, with three pairs and for some reason, one of them's still floating around. Nobody seems to want it. In that original video, I projected that my gross sales would be $156 to $256. My gross sales for the nine items that I've sold actually came in at $170.80. My net after cost of goods, platform fees, shipping and the like came in at 10877 and that is a 63.7 re return on my investment or ROI. As I mentioned, I have one item left and it is in currently listed at $24 as that's closer to what I got for the other two pairs, but I do have a low of $14. If I ended up selling that item on the low, I have a potential gross of $185. And if I ended up netting the same ROI of about 64% on it, then I have a new potential net on this box of $129. As per usual, with any of my gross projections, I came in at the lower end, as is very typical, especially with the gross projections that I provided last year. Now, I run my business on a high-low strategy. I always list high. That gives me room to send offers to likers and offers to watchers, but also it gives me room to drop the price if I am too high or if the market value seems to lower within the time frame of my listing. This is the part of the video where I typically share with you all of the items that netted me over 20 bucks. It is just my personal business model goal to net at least 20 bucks. That makes the time and effort that I put into my part-time reselling business worth its while in my humble opinion. As there were only nine items that um, were saleable and only eight that have sold, 
I only actually had one item <laughs> out of those eight that netted me 20 bucks and I'll pop them up here. They are a pair of Rockin' Republic jeans. I sold them on Poshmark for $29 and after Poshmark fees and cost of goods, I ended up netting $20.42. Overall on this box, since the buy-in cost was $24.99 and right now I've netted $108 with the potential to net at 129. I would say that that means I have the potential to net about five times my investment. And to me, that is a nice return on your investment. Now, having said that, I'm not really confident that it is worthwhile to list nine things in order to make a little over $100. That means my cost is coming in closer to a little over $10 range, and that seems like a lot of work to earn a little bit less money. So if I'm looking to grab some items to list super fast and super easy, which jeans are super quick as I typically just put them on a hanger and snap the front and back in the pockets, um, and I do have a jeans, how to list jeans video for you. And um, I will link that above, below as well. Um, so you can see how quick they are to list. Um, so I would maybe buy this box during key seasons, maybe back to school and during holiday time. This is not a box I think I would typically buy as the overall return was just a little bit lower than I anticipated. If you are a new reseller and a new newer reseller or you have a business model where you're not attempting to net a minimum of 20 bucks then this box is probably for you i lean specifically to new resellers as i find if you were like me when i was a newer reseller i would want to put as little <laughs> investment in as po as possible because i was skeptical as to whether or not i was going to get the return and as the investment on this is just 25 dollar buy in that definitely is a low investment and to make a hundred would be a nice little return especially for a newbie so you may want to consider this box so quick and simple those are the results that is how that goodwill blue box mixed denim they may call it mixed jeans i don't know i get all the boxes confused i think it's technically called goodwill blue box mixed jeans mystery box but goodwill boxes have way too long a name. <laughs> That's how my uh, box went. If you have purchased some of these jean boxes from Goodwill, I would love to know what your results are. Do you think it was worth the investment for the particular box I got? Did you think I would actually make the amount of money that I made? I'd love to know, so leave your comment below. If you found this video useful or helpful in any sort of way, please do consider going ahead, hitting that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that bell so that you're notified every Tuesday and Friday when I upload a new video. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much for your likes, comments, and shares. They not only help my channel out tremendously, which I very much appreciate, especially with my 2021 goal of growing my channel, but also they mean the world to me. They motivate me and they give me a lot of warm fuzzies. So virtual hugs to all of you and thank you guys so, so much. Um, that is it for today and I will be back at you on Tuesday with a new video. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.